Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. From stage to screen, one of TV's most endearing moms, Eileen Graff, is in the house. Thank you so much for being with us, Eileen. I love being endearing. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah. it's really swell. You Thank you. <laughs> I, say, I grew up watching Mr. Belvedere. Did you? Yes. I loved that oh. show. That was family goals. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She said she wants a butler now. <laughs> it's all your fault. I want my own, Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> I had, um, during those years that I was so, so busy, uh, we had somebody who lived in with us and to take care of all of us, my daughter, me, my husband, and she used to always call herself Mrs. Belvedere. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> she said, I'm the real Mrs. Belvedere. I said, okay. That's she was so, so cute. cute. Yeah. Well, we know you're working on an incredible new project. Tell us a little bit about it. Now, which incredible new project would that be? Making hmm. songs around. Yeah. I, I, I started as a singer. Um, and I still think of myself primarily as a singer. I started singing professionally as a young teenager and um, d had done a lot of individual coaching with people. They have an audition coming up. Can you help me? Can you help me? And then one day I said to my husband, whose name is Ben Lanzaroni, he's a very accomplished composer. I said, you know, between us, we have almost 100 years of experience in show business. I think we have something to share. <laughs> so we decided that we were going to teach vocal performance. Oh, wow. And that's... And and that's what we do. And it's uh, it certainly has made me a better singer. I think once you start to teach, you have to sort of codify what you do and not just run on instinct. So true. Uh, so we're talking about the power of intention. I think I'm sure as a teacher, someone's intention comes through in their voice, in their message, in their in their sing, in their in their uh, song or whatever. Talk to us about that. How does how do we set our intention of it come through our voice? Intention is a, a word that we use in acting, actually. Mm -hmm. What is your intent in this scene? What do you want to get? What do you, what do you want to accomplish? Which is true, you know, in, in the broader sense of the word. But in singing and in acting, it's very specific. What do you want? What do I want to accomplish by singing this song? Mm -hmm. What is the emotion that I want to get from myself and from my audience? And so we have a very specific um, technique that we use to help people do that. I have my students read their lyrics of their song as a monologue before we even start singing. Oh, I love that. And it becomes very clear what the story of the song is about that way because you're not thinking about, oh, this rhymes and this note gets this longer amount of time and I have to hit that high note and I'm nervous of it. We just go for story. And then I have them relate that story to something in their real life. Mm -hmm. So when they're singing their song, they have some something to draw from, to something to. real oh, to connect so to. That's a great teacher. Yeah. Wow. So, um, and we see that it works. And and if you, as an audience member, I think if you go sort of as an educated as an educated anything, you're you're going to be a better consumer. I think um, when you go see a performer who really gets to you, think about how they're connecting with that mm -hmm. story. So true. Like people, if they're even a good speaker, you know, they get, if they're nervous and they're just getting caught up on saying it right, they're not getting connected to that feeling and that intention. Exactly. So what has been your intention with all of this work? Um, I strongly believe in giving back. Mm -hmm. So I've been super, super lucky in my life. Very, very lucky. Uh, I, I had has a nice career. I have a 42-year-old marriage. I have <laughs> a 42-year-old <laughs> marriage. Um, I have a healthy, strong daughter who's doing what she wants to do. And I said, you know, and I was raised by a mother who was an, like an activist mom. She had mm -hmm. me walking for the March of Dimes wow. in the 50s wow. to, to raise money for kids with polio. And I strongly believe that that's part of the calling is if you have you give back. Yeah. So I I believe in that, and so I, I try to do it. Which of your personality traits do you think has borne the most fruit in your professional life? Um, that's a very good question. Let me think. I, I've i never been anything other than myself. Yeah. And it, it takes you a little while to learn that lesson, but in my mm -hmm. business, especially in television, you know, yeah. if you're not you, they're not oh, going to watch. Yeah. They're not going to watch. You can't pretend to be yeah. Savannah Guthrie. You can't pretend to be Dr. Phil. You only have to be you. And that 
and I have never been clever enough to come up with another character for <laughs> <Right>? myself <laughs> other than me. I think this is probably the common denominator. Do you guys think? Yes. It's like the common denominator when we ask really successful people or influencers or whatever, what is their key to success? They all say authenticity. Yeah. It's yeah. the number one thing. I think so. Mm -hmm. I, you can read a phony a mile away. You know, if somebody is being way too nice to you <laughs> and they're trying to, sh you know, shine you up a little bit, you know, oh my gosh, I, this can't, this can't. And some people are just really that nice. <laughs> so it takes a little getting over your skepticism, but people can, they read you. Was there ever a point where you doubted, I guess, the opportunity for your sort of authenticity to be translated into success? Because I think a lot of people are afraid of being themselves because they don't feel like there's room for themselves or maybe they're, you know, they yeah. won't be accepted or mm -hmm. it won't lead to a professional success. I think that's a really interesting comment. I, I, I think that, I think that no. <laughs> I think that no. I could never, I, I never tried to be or do something that I wasn't. It just wouldn't work for me. I'm, I think I'm not a good enough actress to pull it <laughs> off. And I've always been a type. My type changed through my, through my career, for sure. I started out as, like, blonde bimbo, you know, doing all the ditzy, uh, sexy kind of things, and I transitioned. But I always sort of had to be me, and I couldn't pretend to be something else. So inspiring. Mm, mm, love yeah. it. So how can people get involved and come to your workshops, your class, or what, what, what's it like? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Is it group? How do you work? It's a, it's a class. Mm -hmm. And we do it out of our house. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you know, it, you have to come to me through, you know, we, it's best if I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Um, but it's a class situation, sort of like any other class, any other acting class or whatever. It's, you get your one-on-one -on -one time during the class. So when it's time for you to sing your song, you go up to the piano, you give my husband, he's our musical director, you give him the music, and we do one-on-one. -on -one. Wow. And the peop other people in the class get so much out of seeing somebody else work because you're not so focused on yourself at that point. You can take in what I'm telling somebody else and say, oh, I do that. I do that myself. I have to like be careful of that. Or, oh, what a great idea. I'm going to try that next time. Mm -hmm. So Eileen, if somebody was watching and they don't know somebody who knows somebody who knows you, <laughs> what advice do you have for them in finding and expressing their voice? Um, I think you have to be honest with yourself about your emotional reality. That sounds kind of airy-fairy, I know. But if you can, in performance, <laughs> let's just talk about performance, because that's my specialty. Um, find the nugget of truth in whatever it is you're doing, whether it's a scene or a play or a song. Find the truth in there that resonates within you and focus on that. And then you have to learn some technique. Yeah. You just do. Mm -hmm. We can't say, oh, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I've had more than one director say to me, I'm, del I'm really glad you're feeling it. I don't see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now let's learn some, te some technique as to how we do that. And that's a lifetime study. Wow. Right. You never advice. stop learning. And that's not just great advice for performers. That's great advice for just all of us living life. Very really true. Is. Mm -hmm. I, I think so. Mindset, yeah. skill set. Got to find them both right. You do. You right. have to. Mm -hmm. Without the skill. I mean, it's, it's great to be talented. Everybody's talented. At a certain point, you know, in our careers, everybody's talented. Everybody's good. But what is it about you that makes you, whoever has, has the best skill set mm -hmm. and can make other people understand what it is that they're feeling, they're the ones that are going to do really well. Yeah. So tell people where they can find and follow you. Um, I'm on Facebook, uh, EileenGraff.com. We have a Making the Song Your Own Vocal Performance Workshop. has a Facebook page. And uh, I welcome any and all inquiries. Oh, and... Um, if I may be so bold, I'm not. I'm not selling um, perfume, which smells <laughs> delicious. <laughs> by the, it's been wafting through the yeah, studio mm -hmm. in the most delightful way. Um, I'm going to be doing a holiday show oh, in good. December, December 21st here in LA at Feinstein's at Vitello's, December 21st, and it's a really fun holiday show. We've done it before, and back by popular demand. So. Come down, come, oh. so come to Studio online? City. Thank yes, you. tickets will be on sale at the end of September, by the end Amazing. of September. Yeah. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me, so it was really wonderful. fun. Thank you. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.